We're talking with Robert Burke, Professor of Healthcare Administration at the Milken School of Public Health at GW University. So uh, what do you see happening as the oldest baby boomers turn uh, or enter their 80s in 15 years? Well, the baby boomers, of which there are 75 million of us, have been very adamant about what they want. So I think the current situation in long-term care is going to change dramatically as they start putting their demands for the types of services and care that they would really like to receive. And what, what's an example or two of that? Well, I think uh, if we look at nursing homes themselves, the old corridor, a four to a bed, uh, people to a room is all going to leave. People want individual uh, sort of small apartments or suites because that's what they're used to having. If they are in assisted living, they want to have a, some type of small kitchenette, but someplace where it is a community rather than just a college dormitory. Uh, state licensing of nursing homes varies widely. Where can people find state-by-state -state information? Sure. When we're looking at uh, licensing of nursing homes, uh, each state is permitted to have certain, certain elements of how the license will work or be different. When we look at nursing home administrators, there is a website called NABWEB, N-A-B-W-E-B.org, where an individual can look up to see what the differences are in what the nursing home administration licenses are. One of the things that does solidify everyone, however, is that under Medicare and Medicaid, the certification for those is somewhat standardized across the country, but still there are individual differences at the state level. And what kind of turnover is there in nursing home staff and how does that affect care? Well, we know from all the work that we've done that continuity of care is, continuity of staff is very important to have quality care. And unfortunately, in some levels of our, of our nursing home population, such as the, the certified nursing assistants, there can be over 100% turnover per year. They may be staying as CNAs but moving to another facility, but they're still not being able to provide the, the care. We think that that's also a, attributed to the, the low wages aspect, that in many facilities the CNA is just at the, the state minimum wage or a few pennies higher. And some uh, caretakers of injured veterans are getting paid by the government. Can you explain that program? Sure. Under a new program from the GI Bill and, and other entities, that there is now permitted for the, the veterans of the Gulf Wars to be able to receive uh, care at home from usually it's their, their mom or a parent, uh, and have that, uh, those services paid for. In other words, mom would get a payment for being basically a home health maker or a home health aide. And we're finding that that's going to be maybe a wave of the future for what could happen to others. Can we actually have payment for family members who know the individual, live, may live in the house or nearby, and be very successful in doing it? Are there any states that are experimenting with that? Uh, well, under the Affordable Care Act, there are going to be several pilots that are coming up, so we have to watch the details as to what's going to happen next. But I'm sure there will be many uh, pilots, we don't use the word demonstrations anymore, uh, that are going to come forward and, and see this as a, as a benefit. There are 84 million millennials. What are the implications for the future of long-term care? Well, I think there are two. One is that we, there's going to be a balance and almost a, a fight between the 84, 84 million millennials against the 75 uh, million boomers as to who's going to get what. But I think uh, what's going to happen is that the 84 million millennials are going to start working much more cooperatively because they're going to be just as demanding for their services. So I think it's going to evolve into what's going to happen in the future for better services for everybody. So I don't like to see it necessarily as the big fight, but I do see this as a need for cooperative a cooperation between the younger and the older. Thank you. Okay.